I'm ready. Oh, I've been rolling. Oh. <laughs> okay. Outtakes are gonna be amazing. Oh, I'm always here to serve you. Okay. Okay, now Kira can't take herself too seriously. Okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kiara and I run the blog and Instagram and this nook of the internet, Kiara's Atelier, where I discuss fashion, beauty and all sorts of things. Today is a little bit of a quick video because uh, it's about a little pretty bag. If you've been on my nook of the internet, you've probably seen this one and this is one of my favourite bags in my collection. I don't use her that often because I'm very precious about it because she's a light blue and I'm always on the hunt to add another one of these into my collection but as you can see it's a clutch bag and your little and your girl doesn't like to go out I don't like to go out past 10 o'clock so this doesn't even get that used that much so I've been using this quite recently actually for weddings I used it for my birthday dinner and before I bought this bag, I was always like, what could fit in it? So I thought I'd share that with you, just in case if you're thinking about getting one of these. Let me start off by saying Olympia Latan bags are beautiful. They, they are like, you can see at the back how many of them have been made. So this is number 46 out of 100 that have been made. And that just makes it a little bit more special. This is the Alice in Wonderland one from their Disney collection, as you can see. And I love Alice in Wonderland. And they have amazing ones, like the New Yorker covers. They have ones that are... Um, Baba, The Elephant, they have all sorts of different things. Classic books like Moby Dick. <laughs> I'm immature, I promise. I'm, I'm getting a bit more mature. So I thought now I will show you what actually fits inside this bag. Now, this is what it looks like on the inside. Look how pretty. It has a useless pocket, unless you could squeeze something in there. So, now I downsize my card wallet because there's a lot of loyalty cards and unnecessary things that you don't need to, to use when you go out, you know, for dinner, to a bar, to the club if you're feeling like going to the club, which I never feel like doing. I have my keys attached to this. So this has got like, I can put my cards and any cash or whatever I want in here and my keys. That fits in nicely. Then, if I feel like I want to spritz, this fits in also nicely. What do we call this? Lipstick. This fits in. We have to be a bit stingy. One lipstick. Normally, I have about five products in my bag. Now, my car key can't fit in. So, this is usually a non-driving bag. And then, this new iPhone, the X or whatever it's called, fits in. And... With a tight squeeze, it all fits. Isn't that amazing? Now I don't have to hold my phone out. If I, I still currently use, what is this? The Plus. This is a little bit more of a tight squeeze. Let's see if we can even get it in. We can, but it doesn't um, allow the bag to shut. So that's just something to keep in mind. But it is a beautiful bag. It's I love it. It's just stunning and it just makes for such a good dinner party um, little bag. It's always a good conversation starter with people. Everyone looks at it and thinks, oh my goodness, did you bring a book to this dinner? And I'm like, no, I'm not that antisocial. But it is quite a fun piece and everyone wants to talk to you when you've got one of these. I'm always on the lookout for a new one. So I'm always trolling the internet. I'm going to see if I can find myself another one. So, here's a little quick video and this is what fits in my bag. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos and let me know if you have one of these bags or if you've ever been intrigued to see what it fits in. Bye!